Well, if you commit the crime, you do the time and you pay the fine. That's how it's supposed to work. But Channel 2 investigates discovered some criminals are getting away with not paying their victims, even though it is a part of their court ordered punishment. Investigator Jace Larson revealing why that there are no consequences for criminals who fail to pay restitution. He was like my best friend. You would think that the day Tanya Harden's brother Stephen was murdered would be the hardest of her life. He was just a lot of fun. But she will tell you watching Stephen's murderer get convicted and then sentenced to probation was just as bad. Stephen had shown up to tow killer Barry Crawford's car away. When my brother came out from underneath the truck, Barry shot him one time in the heart and killed him. Crawford claimed he killed in self-defense. A judge gave Crawford strict probation requirements and ordered him to pay Stephen's family about $16,000 in restitution. Did he ever pay you that money? No, he never did. But somehow it didn't matter. Crawford, who never went to jail in the first place, walked away once his probation term expired. He was a free man. His probation should have been revoked. It's like being sucker punched. Andy Kahn fights for victims' rights on behalf of the city of Houston. When you find out that they're not in compliance and there's no repercussions for their actions, your faith in a justice system just skewers. Crawford's court records show that he was sick and that's why he couldn't pay all he owed. Khan says everyone has an excuse. We wanted to find out how many times criminals are allowed off probation when they still owe money. It turns out those numbers are not tracked. In fact, we were told we'd have to go through thousands and thousands of court documents just to get accurate numbers. I don't see people get let off. I will tell you that. Teresa May heads Harris County's Community Supervision Department. She says they do a good job of collecting on open cases. In fact, last year they recovered $5 million for victims. But for those criminals who won't pay, state law is not on victim side. They are placed on community supervision for a set period of time. Depending on the type of case and the circumstance, there are only so many extensions that a judge can grant. But other states have done something, Khan says, and he faults Texas for not being as tough on crime. In Kansas, a victim's family is allowed to actually, actually participate in looking at an offender's assets. Arizona, you can be extended on probation. Same thing with California until you pay it. Tanya's family did get a few thousand dollars from Crawford, but 18 years after her brother's killing, she knows that collecting more is unlikely. But it's not, it's not the money because the money's not gonna bring my brother's life back. It's, it's the, it's justice. If a criminal owes you money and you're having trouble collecting restitution, we'd like to know about it and perhaps investigate your case. You can send us an email at investigates at clicktohouston.com. Jace Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News.